Hello, I'm making a short video to demonstrate how I'm going to control my Tevis opening and closing on my MR2. I am using Max MSP uh, to write the program and patcher and uh, it is communicating via Maxduino with a Arduino or in this case a Freeduino microcontroller and that is um, commanding a servo. This is a Spectrum A6030 high torque servo. Puts out approximately 280 ounces at 4.8 volts. Should definitely do the job. My patcher, uh, the picture you're looking at there is my actual intake manifold. Uh, superimposed over that is a, a, fno a flow analysis simulation done uh, of that intake manifold. And um, the patcher I've designed it. Uh, it currently uh, does not yet communicate with the EMS. Uh, I've simply designed it so that it's ready for uh, digital and analog inputs, etc., etc. So the patcher itself gives me uh, RPM control uh, of the servo and that case in the the Tevis. And you can see when I select the RPM control. I've got it uh, defaulting to around the middle range and then I can simulate opening and closing of the Tevis with rising and falling RPM and the servo responds very nicely and crisply. It's a very quick servo. I can also select, uh, I can deactivate the RPM control and I can select um, fully open or fully closed and there's fully open. Uh, in order to be able to lock the TBIS in either one of those positions uh, to be able to dyno test uh, and then find the optimal opening point of the TBIS. Then the, um, uh, the TBIS can be opened gradually over an RPM range. I'm going to guess it'll be around 1000 RPMs between 37 or 3800 and 4700 where uh, there should be some benefit. Um, the patcher itself, uh, it, this is a very exciting for me It's um, to get a handle on some of this stuff. It's peanuts for some people, I'm sure. Um, but the patcher itself is not quite this simple. Um, what it actually looks like is this. So it's fairly complex and fairly big. And it can do a lot more than what I will need for this project. It's got a section here uh, for digital inputs, 13 of them, that's scaled down. And uh, analog inputs here as well, that's scaled down as well, uh, since I won't need more than there are inputs on the Arduino. And uh, then I built this section down here to uh, be able to have the servo control that I want and, um, and the interface look that I want. So there we go. I will update it uh, when I get it uh, communicating with the EMS and uh, certainly when I get it installed in the car and, uh, and working. Thanks for watching.